Hi, my name is Nicholas Tamburino, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Electrical and Electronics Engineering program here at the University of Akron. One thing that most people don't know is the difference between electrical and electronics engineering technology and electrical engineering. The main difference between the two is that electrical and electronics engineering technology focuses on the application of circuits and devices, whereas electrical engineering focuses on the theory behind those circuits and devices. I strongly encourage anyone interested in either of these two programs to visit the university's website for more information on the differences between the two. Graduates from both of these programs go on to work for companies like Verizon, Windstream, General Electric, and AEP in jobs like technicians and project engineers. I came to UA from a high school career tech center in a small town in Northeast Ohio, and I really found my home here. I think you're really going to like what you're about to see. We're right inside the main entrance in the first floor lobby. This is where a lot of engineering technology students come to hang out and study between classes. There's plenty of seating, and if you want some fresh air, there's even some tables outside. Most of your program-specific classes will be in Schrank Hall South, which is conveniently located near parking in the student union. All engineering technology departments are housed in this building, so you have easy access to your professor's offices and all of your classrooms. This is Lab 237. This room is oriented toward electrical power. First year students learn about power distribution, basically how power gets from one point to the next. They learn about smart grids and large scale electrical systems and distribution. Classes in this lab give students their first exposure to digital multimeters and oscilloscopes, which provide information about waveforms that help diagnose problems in electrical circuits. My favorite part about this room is the access to three phase power. You can actually simulate the way power companies deliver power in the real world. It's really cool. By the time you're ready to graduate, you'll understand terms like resistor, capacitor, inductor, and motor control, which is what this is. It's basically made up of components like transformers, variable frequency drives, and control panels. I know this all sounds complicated, but don't worry about it. The professors here are really great at working with you through tough subjects. Now we're in Lab 224, our multi-purpose lab. This is where students take classes like electronic devices. They learn more about semiconductors and transistors. They also get to apply what they learn to design their own printed circuit board. Now we're in lab 228. This lab is more oriented toward digital circuits. Whereas the last lab we were in, 237, is for more large scale things, this room is for more small scale things. Think cell phones, radios, and microprocessors. This is where students take their second year digital circuits class, where they learn about the fundamentals of digital logic and digital circuits. Students learn how to use some pretty cool tools, like this logic analyzer, which helps to diagnose problems in digital circuits. They also learn how to use an Arduino, which teaches students how to program microprocessors for real-world control systems applications. The programming can be accomplished either through classic textual languages or with graphical language like LabVIEW for more visual learners. Now we're here in the co-op and placement office in the Auburn Science and Engineering Center, which is just a short walk from Shrank South. Co-oping is a great way for students to get real-world experience while they're completing their studies here at UA. A lot of the companies that do co-ops with us here end up hiring their students full-time after graduation. If a student completes all of their co-op rotations while doing their studies, they'll earn an average of over $40,000 a year while they're in school. Some of the companies that regularly do co-ops here with us are Goodyear, Timken, and Swagelock. This is the Engineering Student Design Center. The student design teams are open to students of any major, but the SAE Formula Electric Racing Team is specifically appealing to students in electrical and electronics engineering technologies. The SAE Formula Electric Racing Team recently took fifth place at their first big national competition. Thanks for joining me for this tour of the Electrical and Electronics Engineering Technology program. As you can see, we have a lot to offer. I hope to see you on campus soon. Go Zips!